people living on a small island between Nova Scotia and PEI feel a bit like they're living in a wildlife documentary. Only 13 people live on Pictou Island, and this winter they're massively outnumbered by some new residents, thousands of seals. As Ross Lord tells us, the arrival is raising new questions about climate change. <laughs> Newborn gray seals nurse from their mother, consuming the fat-rich milk that sustains them. <laughs> While nearby, another seal cow fends off the romantic advances of a bull. Dramatic images normally seen only in the wild, not on Picto Island, Nova Scotia. Very few people will ever have this kind of an opportunity. We are a population of 13 people. Um, you really see nature at its rawest. The seals have come here to birth thousands of pups, usually done on ice flows. But there's no ice in these waters this year, something residents blame on climate change. Seals are dotting the coastline like never before, some ending up on the main road. You might see about 30 seals. Now you're seeing three or 4,000 here on the island. But this is not a safe haven. After a similar migration in 2006, most of the seals died from a tidal surge. This year they're doing pretty well. We did have a bit of a surge earlier in the week. Mm. Certainly some pups were swept away, but didn't really make a dent in the size of the surge. But not everyone is hoping for a successful outcome here. Local fishermen say there are too many seals already. They're interfering with their struggling lobster fishery by eating bait from their traps, or in some cases, eating the lobsters themselves. Resident Ray Docker is among those who support a larger call of gray seals, whose East Coast population is estimated at 300,000. China is looking at buying fish. Maybe this can be a market for people. The Department of Fisheries and Oceans won't confirm any connection to climate change. Some researchers suggest it's just a growing population finding different places to birth their pups. Whatever the reason, the beaches of Picto Island are beginning to look like home for these seals. Ross Lohr, Global News, Picto Island, Nova Scotia.